Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Retro PC. It's been a hot second. A lot of office upgrades have happened in the past few months, and it was also just kind of nice to take a break. But I am back, refreshed. It's a new year, 2023, and it's time for another video. We're gonna take a look at something really cool today. It is called Infinite Mac, and it runs in your browser. So this is a Macintosh computer from 1995. I mean, the description for the website says it all. A Mac with everything you'd want in 1995. And they are not wrong. So just like my video of Windows 96, the lost Windows OS, where you could run a version of Windows right in your browser, you're doing the exact same thing here. You are running a version of Macintosh from the mid 90s right in your browser. Only difference is this is an operating system that actually existed, whereas the Windows 96 was just kind of a concept, so to say, of what Windows 96 could have looked like. So if you go to Infinite Mac in Google or your preferred search provider and just click on system7.app, you'll be brought right to it. Mine loads up rather quickly, which I don't think is an exact representation of what this used to <laughs> the experience would have been back in 95. I bet that would have taken a lot longer. But nonetheless, here we are, we have loaded up a version of Macintosh from 1995, apparently. So let's kick back, grab our coffee and check it out. Okay, first and foremost, there are some stickies on the screen and some things we should take a look at. Now, if I click into the browser here, I am brought right into the little virtual old school yellowed monitor, which I kind of love the touch of the yellowed monitor <laughs> bezel here. That could not be cooler in my opinion, because most of these machines do look that way today. So nice touch. So this is Infinite Macintosh, a project to have easily browsable collection of classic Macintosh software from the comfort of your modern web browser. I think that's just an amazing thing to be doing these days. And it just provides so much quick, easy access and fun for everyone with the internet to just check out. Now for someone like me, it's pretty nostalgic. This is very, very common visual I would have seen in school back in my elementary days when those Macintoshes just flooded the library, uh, maybe the back of your classroom. This, that is what I remember when I see this immediately. That's, that's my nostalgic bring back in my mind is grade school, sitting at a computer, oh, the possibilities, how endless they were. Back then, I had no idea if I was sitting in front of a Macintosh or a Windows computer. It was just a computer and I was just happy to have one in front of me. So if we click on the Apple here first to go to about see here showing us that some stickies are taking space so some software's taking up some memory pretty amazing 7.5.3 so system software 7.5.3 that looks to be the version of macintosh we are running now i am not a macintosh expert by any means i do use one for work and i've gotten pretty good at it over the last four or five years but there's a pretty big gap in my mac use from grade school to about four or five years ago so i'm just a windows guy uh through and through to be honest but i do love the nostalgia these old mac os's bring back to me so looks like we have a video player a cd player automate some tasks there's a calculator in here with that nice oh yeah just like i remember it hilarious this infinite eight hard drive it's already popped up there's this the outside world and then the macintosh hard drive so there's just a, there's just so much going on here jumping back to my menu though keycaps notepad scrapbook stickies and of course we can shut down the computer Fun. All right, let's jump into the hard drive here. 
Let's see if I can expand this. That's as big as it gets. Ah, nope, I lied. Not that I need to make it any bigger, but I did. So we got control panel and extensions here. Kaleidoscope, Gravite, Smooth Type, the Grouch, After Dark, Power Windows. Let me let's see the Kaleidoscope installer. Let's install this. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yep. So let's restart. Choose a scheme from the Kaleidoscope Schemes submenu of the Apple menu or double click a scheme in the Finder. Okay. Let's do this one. Oh, check it out. We have effectively changed our Mac to whatever scheme I just picked on or selected, excuse me. Let's do ultra black. This is so cool. See, as a kid, I'd be just, this would have been the best. No idea this stuff existed on my Mac. However, I probably would have gotten in deep trouble if I had installed Kaleidoscope on my Mac as a kid at school on a computer I did not own. There are some developer things here. Games, of course. We're going to save that for last. Graphics. We have a copy of Adobe here. Kid Picks. That icon. I remember that icon. Please enter your name. We are in Kid Picks. This copy belongs to me. And it's basically a version of paint with sound effects. So unnecessary. <laughs> Love it. Blender. Oh, wow, I forgot this existed. <laughs> The sound effects are just so unnecessary, but great. KPT Bryce. Let's just see what this is. That's interesting. So I can pick my sky, my terrain, my ground, and it changes the overall picture. Oh, wow. I can add to it. Okay, this is just me going down a rabbit hole of excitement now. This is so awesome. For 1995, this is amazing. For today, it's still amazing. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I love it. It's amazing how something so simple can still be so much fun. Or maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. I am easily entertained, though, when it comes to most things. But it is putting my picture into my changes into this picture, albeit slowly. I can't imagine how long this would take if this was an actual physical machine sitting in front of me versus my emulation on my 
you know, jacked out today's modern computer. Take forever. But we get the idea. I'm just going to probably go through this a hundred times. But it's awesome. It's fantastic. And we're quitting. That was fun. Very happy I clicked into that one. Mac Paint, Mac Paint. Guys, power tips. Let's just look at that quick. Uh, that's a lot of fun. But pretty cool. We will not go through that document in detail. Let's check Ultra Paint out. See what the differences are versus the kid version. And not, I mean, a lot more, uh, a lot more you can do here, I'm sure. It's all black and white. It's actually, oh, there we go. We got color. You get the idea. It's paint. Fantastic. All right, let's check out multimedia. Quick time movies. Oh, we have to check out some of these, but I am not going to play the audio because I will. I just know I will get hit. So let me kill the audio on my computer. I apologize. Let's look at Power Mac. And I'll bring the volume up just a little bit here for a moment. Oh, yeah. The old school Apple commercial. I did an entire report on that commercial alone in college. A huge one. And then I did a humongous presentation on top of that on the very advertising of what apple was doing back then with this commercial can't remember all the details i know i have it saved on my OneDrive somewhere but <laughs> in retrospect i can't believe i didn't get caught for plagiarizing myself from my report to my presentation i don't know how i got away with that but i did so fun fact world at work a day in the life of apple Turn the audio up again just a little bit here. Today, around the world, millions. Yeah. I'll let you all explore these on your own time. Quite a few here. It's like six in total. But amazing. So, by all means, check those out. There is a movie player in here. I don't know if there's a way to get your own files into this or not, but anyway, that does exist. I won't go into that. Okay. There's networking, productivity. Let's see what we got in productivity. Adobe Acrobat. Microsoft Word on here, that's bizarre. We open it up. We got version 5.1a, November 4th of 92. And if I can type correctly. <laughs> it's It still does its job all these years later. Got a file maker, Claris works. Let's see what Claris Works is. This looks like Microsoft Works. I'm guessing it's something similar. If it opens. We are initializing stationary. Perfect time to grab a drink of coffee. 
And look at that. It is totally Microsoft Works. Only for Mac in the mid 90s. Still cool. Okay. Let's check out the utilities quick here. There's a lot in here. PC calc or PCALC. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but I do want to go into disk first aid. Stuff like this always just intrigues me. Okay, can't be repaired. Let's verify this disk. Appears to be fine. Well, great. We can game. Which is what we're going to do. Enough of the boring stuff. There are games on here. Man, are there games on here. Which is just fantastic. Oh, they have Civilization on here. One of my favorites. Terrible at it. Absolutely terrible. Love it, though. And I can barely remember how to play this. But it's working. You get the idea. What an incredible job by those behind this project. Absolutely worth taking a look at on your own. My video will never be able to do, give it, do it justice in terms of the amount of time you can put into it here. I'll certainly have to take more time off camera to just dig into some of the other things in the H hard drive they have, of course, the games and stuff like that. What a great job. What a great job. It, it couldn't be better. Please take a look at this. Again, it's just system7.app. That is the website to go to. Or just search Infinite Mac in Google or your preferred search browser. You'll be brought right here. You can load it up yourself in your browser and just go nuts. It's an incredible project and it looks like there's other projects by these people too like for os 8 os 9 something else here i i have not i have just begun to scratch the surface myself on this and i recommend you do too if you're into this kind of thing it's a great way to waste a little bit of time experience something totally nostalgic or new if you're a younger viewer and see what the world of computing was like in 1995, which scary to say is almost 30 years ago. Ouch, do I feel old. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey through Infinite Mac. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.